北戴河 Railway Station。Hello, guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to Beidaihe in Qinghuangdao, and we're going to take a speed train to get there. Traveling by speed train is very comfortable and very cozy. Let's take a look at its washroom and lavatory. After two hours and a half, we arrive at the station. The train station, by the way, is far from the city center, so we decided to rent a taxi, and it cost us about 50 to 55 yuan to get there. So after 30 minutes of driving, we finally arrive at our Airbnb accommodation. Check out the place. You can play mahjong here. This is for mahjong, right? Very spacious place, and they've got three bedrooms. So three people can live here or sleep here. Also three here. This is the best room. It has its own bathroom. And this is the other box. This is a dining area. The sink. Can we cook? Yeah, we can. And you have... Oh, it's, it's working, the fridge. Oh, really? Yeah. So we can uh, wash. Where? So after we checked in at our Airbnb apartment, we headed to this beautiful nature park and we strolled around and we enjoyed the beautiful, uh, comfortable weather. After a lot of walking, we reached the seaside and we could see that the place was kind of crowded. So after a while, I flew the drone. So let's have a look at my drone shots. After frolicking at the seaside, we reached this beautiful place and we thought it's a cultural park, 
We saw beautiful Chinese traditional buildings, and the best part of it was when we reached to this place where there's a lot of pigeons, and we fed them. After feeding the pigeons, we decided to walk back to the exit gate to go to a beautiful seaside amusement park. So let's check out the place while going back to the exit gate. We took a 15-minute taxi ride to Bilota. It's an amusement uh, seaside park. Surprise time! This is the Bilota bar style amusement sea park. As the night falls, I've noticed that the place becomes more crowded and the place becomes even brighter because of the colorful lights and more and more people come to eat out and try some seafood which is famous in Tianhuangdao. So come on, let's try their local delicacies. Meanwhile, a lot of people are very very excited gathering around this massive bonfire which will be lit up later on anytime soon because there will be a lot of celebration going on around here. Yeah. 
After the bonfire, we headed to this spectacular stage show, and we were amazed by this foreign performance, all the way from Thailand. That's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.